thank you um, for choosing to watch this unusual video by Pastor Cliff about Donald Trump. You may ask, why are you making these videos? I will ask myself the same question. Cliff, why are you making these videos? <laughs> You're not a politician. You are apolitical in nature. Then why are you making this video about Donald Trump, about politics, per se? Well, I'll tell you why. On Thursday, November 3rd, 2016, I was in the morning, I was dropping off my clients. I was at a traffic light at Andover, not Andover, in Massachusetts, crossing over to Lawrence. And just as the traffic lights stopped um, us and was red, then I fell into this conversation. Um, at first I thought I was having a conversation with my mind. I could hear a voice communicating with me in my mind and he asked me, Cliff, I showed you such a great revelation about this nation and you did nothing about it? Hmm. And he said, what else will I show you for you to know that Trump is the President of the United States? And then in my response to that voice, I said, maybe if you show me a dream of Trump holding the flag of the United States and the right 45 on it, then probably I will know that Trump is the President of the United States. And I said, even at that, I will be able to come out in the public and everywhere to like start saying Trump, you know, because, you know, yes, God showed me a great revelation about the elections. But, you know, God, I was kind of dumbfounded. I was kind of struggling with it. So God, Trump, why would God be supporting Trump? Is, is this from God? You know, so I, I wasn't so sure. So that was in the context. God was telling me. What else will I show you? Now, at the point, I didn't know it was God. I thought I was having a conversation with my mind. And then, this is how I knew it was God. As soon as I said that, that probably if you show me Trump holding the flag of the United States and the right 45 on it, and I would think maybe that's the 45th president. So that, that even after that, I won't come out publicly. As soon as I said that, the voice ceased. And kind of, I kind of follow, came to myself, like you were having a conversation. And simultaneously, as all this is happening, it is all within the seconds of the light turning um, from red to green. My client at the back immediately asked me, Cliff, who won the elections last night? I was shocked. Well, not being into politics, I thought maybe there might have been the Senate race that happened Wednesday night. Because that was a Thursday morning. So I turned to him and I asked him, what elections? He said, Trump and Hillary. Wow. I told him it was Trump that won. He said, no, Trump can win. I said, <laughs> you just asked me. I was just receiving the answer right now. You just asked me. I said, Trump won. He said, no, Trump can win. Even my co-worker who was there said, if Trump win, he's going to move to Canada. I told him, go and pack your things that night when you get home. Don't wait till Tuesday. Move to Canada because Trump has won the election. He is not going to win. He has won. He is the president of the United States. Then I knew that God was the one speaking to me. That is the reason why I'm doing this video. Because God asked me, what else will I show you for you to know that Trump is the President of the United States? And truly, God showed me what else. He showed me something else, which I will share with you in the course of this video. So why am I doing this video? I am doing this video, or I'm going to do these videos because of God, because of righteousness, because of truth. God wants righteousness established in America. God wants truth in America. God wants to raise this nation all because of his end time plan. Wants to establish this nation again because of his end time plans. That is why I am doing this video. So please, if you have not hit the subscribe button, please do so because these videos are going to be coming in you know in part there's going to be more to come more to come and so that you can be the first to get uh the video when i review when i show you what god showed me 
again about Donald Trump. So please remember to hit the subscribe button and also remember to leave your comments below. We want to hear them. And please remember to leave your comments respectful. And uh, maybe God has shown you something too. We would love to hear it. Please remember to drop it in the comment box. Let us know what God showed you or so. So, all right. But before I go to show you the video that I recorded in 2016, the week Trump won the presidential election, I will like you to watch this short clip from Kim Clements, a prophecy he gave on February 22nd about the presidency, about Donald Trump, about the President of the United States. In 2014, two years before Trump ever, or the presidential elections kicked off, two years before that, I want you to listen to him. And then we come back and I will, you know, give the highlight points and show you the video that God, I recorded of what God showed me in 2016. Please enjoy the clip. I couldn't quite see his face because that was not allowed. Because there was a mist that covered all the people and he was amongst them and the Spirit of God made me look at him and he said this man will throttle the enemies of Israel this man will throttle the enemies of the West and there are highly embarrassing moments that are about to occur for many many politicians in this nation there will be a shaking amongst there will be a shaking amongst the de democrats in the upcoming elections but unsettling for the republicans why is why is god doing this for god said i am dissatisfied with what emerges from both parties And then there is a nation he showed me and took me itching for a new kind of war with America they will shout impeach impeach they say but nay this nation shall come very subtly but he shall not come in the time of President Obama they shall come when this new one arises, my David, that I have set aside for this nation. A man of prayer, a man of choice words, not a man who is verbose, who has verbosity, who speaks too much. They will even say, this man is not speaking enough. But God says, I have set him aside. They will shout, impeach, impeach. But this shall not happen the man that i have raised up pray for the enemy will do everything in his power to put a witch in the white house did anybody hear what he just said for jezebel has chased away the prophets and even elijah Come on. now i have said go back for this shall be dismantled so that there will be no more corruption in the White House, says the Spirit. All right. You heard it yourself, crystal clear. He said there will be a highly embarrassing moment for the politicians. Mm -hmm. Highly embarrassing. And if you witness the 2016 presidential election, you will know it was so. God, why was God doing this? He said he was dissatisfied with everything that emerges from both parties. When you say everything that emerges from both parties, you're talking about their policies, their candidates, everything that emerges from both parties. And if, if you really watch the presidential race in 2016, you know that almost everything came out from the, the not, I was, was name, the, the, Republican Party, almost everybody, it was 17 candidates that ran for the presidential election, for the Republican nominee in 2016. But God was dissatisfied with all of them. It was a highly embarrassing moment for the Democrats and for the Republicans in 2016. 
Trump from nowhere, who is not part of the clique, who is not part of the think tanks of politics, dismembered, dismantled, destroyed the think tanks of politics, of politics in America. The Clinton machines, everything, Bernie Sanders, everything, the Bushes, everybody. It was a highly embarrassing moment, just as God said. It's not, it wasn't just that. He said, they will shout impeach, impeach. But God said, nay, it will not happen. Did that happen? Impeach, impeach twice. Twice was Trump. Or did they try to impeach Trump during his presidency of four years? Twice. But God said, nay, it won't happen. You saw that came to pass. Now I'm trying to, you know, show you the divinity of God's choice for that man. He said, he will be a praying man. God called him his David, a man of prayer. Well, for many of us who have been following Trump, we don't need to speak on that. <laughs> you know, Trump is a praying man. He's a one man who loves prayers. He wants to see prayers in schools. He wants to see prayers in the football game. He wants to see prayers in the White House. He is not ashamed to say he wants to see prayers in the public places. He identifies with the power of prayers. God says he's a man of prayer, a praying man. He is David. Probably I'll make another video, you know, just on that topic alone. He said, the enemy, that is Satan, that is the enemy, he said, we'll do everything to put a witch in the White House. <laughs> you saw that happen in 2016. Everything was done to put a witch in the White House in 2016. The polls, the media, the left-wing media, everything was done. In fact, what was left in 2016 was to make Hillary Clinton the president of the United States without an election. I mean, people wouldn't even have a strong argument because nobody gives Trump a chance. Nobody. Or oh, most people didn't give him a chance. Let me put it that way. However, we saw what happened in 2016. Now, I have never seen this King Clemens video before the message that God gave me that you're going to watch now. I've never seen, I I've never seen this uh, video by Clemens, this uh, prophecy. I've never seen it. But however, I would like you to take uh, time to listen to what God showed me and in, in 2016. And then we will come back and go on from there. But please take your time to listen to what God showed me in 2016. Uh, we thank God for the peaceful uh, conclusion of the 2016 presidential elections. Um, last year when this uh, election kicked off, nobody took Trump seriously. But today we have a president-elect. President DJ Trump, like I like to call him. You see, uh, last year when these uh, elections kicked off and uh, Trump declared his presidential uh, interest and uh, started campaigning, you know, most people didn't take him seriously, especially me. I didn't. I so much uh, was on his heels. I just uh, said, leave this man is going to bury himself with his own mouth. Uh, I just felt he just not serious. I tongue lashed him wherever I went. Uh, I didn't spare him at all. I was really bitter with him. Until one night I had a, a dream. I had this dream when there were still about um, 11 candidates, Republican candidates, running for the Republican uh, nominee, nomination. I am... Um, I had this dream where in a dream that uh, told me that Trump wants to see me, he wanted to see me. Someone told me that Trump wanted to see me. So I said, okay, I will go to see him. I boarded the train as if I went down to downtown Boston, you know, kind of an area like that. I live in Lane and uh, when I got there, you know, I came to the office as if uh, it was Trump's office and uh, with uh, his campaign managers and you know his entourage and people 
So he gave me a seat. I sat, you know, and he uh, told me, Cliff, I would like you to campaign for me. <laughs> I told him, no, uh, I can't campaign for you. He said, no, 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 I really want you to campaign for me. I, I really do mean it. I know that you can you can do it if you want to. You can do a good job. I told him, look, I will never campaign for you. I'm not my political in nature. I don't uh, do politics. I don't belong to any party. Um, I don't do politics. He said, yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. But uh, I want you to campaign for me. I said, no. And he put his hand in his pocket and he brought out a stick. And to me, in that dream, that stick signified a million. He said, I'll give you this. I want you to campaign for me. I looked at him and I said, well, I still won't campaign for you. I'm not going to campaign for you. I'm not inclined. I'm not in part of politics. I don't do politics. And he said, um, look, I'm rewarding you handsomely. And you still say you're not going to campaign for me? I looked at him and I smiled. So how do I know you're rewarding me handsomely? When I don't know what other candidates have to offer me for the same position. He said, okay, okay, okay. And he put his hand in his pocket and he brought another stick, making it two. And in my, my mind, that was two million. He was uh, offering me two million to campaign for him. And I told him, I look, Trump, even if you give me your whole estate, I'm not going to campaign for you. But um, I would like to go and pray about this. Let me know what God says about this. That whatever God says, that's where I stand. It doesn't even matter if you're offering me your whole estate. Let me go and pray about it. To his, he was shocked, you know, that I would turn down the offer of two million and still say I want to go and pray about, you know, campaigning for him. He was perplexed and or like almost with his mouth open. And, uh, he, said, I said, he said, "Well, we said, okay, well, you can uh, go pray, whatever, do your, do whatever you want to do." So I got up and I left. On my way back, you know, I was on a train and. Uh, I was standing in the train and there was uh, someone sitting uh, adjacent to me, it's just sitting to my right. And there were two, and there was a black guy, and there was a, there was two, there were two black guys also standing in front of me. So in my mind in that dream, I said, why don't I just ask these people and know what they think about Trump? Let me ask these people and know what they think about Trump. So I asked when I asked the two guys standing in front of me, the first one, you know, started speaking, and he was just like me. Say, oh, Trump is arrogant. He's this. He's that. He's not for that guy. It's not like he was just tongue lashing Trump, just like I do without pity. So yeah, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, this guy is not fit to be a president of the United States. And then when he's done, and I asked the other guy, well, what would you say? The guy looked at me. He said. Um, he may, not, he may not look like it now, but he will tell me that Trump will make or is most likely to make the best president that the United States ever had. I think that guy is going to make the best president that this country ever had. It's a black man in the dream telling me this. I was shocked to hear him say this you know, about Trump. I'm like in my mind, I better, I better ask the guy next to me and know what he got to say. So I turned to the guy. Uh, next to my right to ask him then I woke up oh my god this is a dream and ever since I know my dream comes to pass um, come through black and white but I couldn't make of this dream is this from God how could God back up a man like Trump you know with all the words that and character and you know and everything he's saying and doing and his arrogance and all that stuff how could god back up a man like this and i i couldn't say it was god who, who gave me the dream and I, I don't know if someone has ever given me a dream or if i ever drank, had a dream from satan so i don't know what to make of it uh but i came back i i, I told uh my wife to my mother, uh, they all laughed at me, you know, you're a Trump campaign manager. And uh, I told one of my friends, most of my friends, and, you know, nobody would take me seriously. 
I said anyway, um, we keep watching. Uh, since then, ever since I stopped saying anything negative about Trump, I told most of my friends, my co-workers, told them the dream, I told them my dreams come to pass, you know, black and white. I don't know what this dream means, but one thing is for sure, that Trump is going to come out the Republican nominee. And whoever is going to be the Democratic nominee is going to be a very close race that the decider will be the person sitting next to me the group of people sitting next to me or the person sitting next to me will decide this election but one thing is sure that trump will come out the republican nominee i'm like you they were like you're crazy you don't know what you're talking about that he will never see the light of the republican nomination i said that, well except if this dream is not from god except if what i'm seeing is not true but it was clear it was the dream was very clear to me so i stuck to my guns i said well i will stop saying anything bad about him i'll just keep watching well not to my surprise but the surprise of many trump came out as republican nominee with a not without a fight but against all odds he emerged i knew that i was cast that this man has a 50 50 chance with hillary there's some group of demographics that are going to decide this election at first i thought it was the bernie sanders after bernie sanders you know dropped out when there was a strong race between the three bernie sanders and hillary clinton and donald trump i thought it was after bernie sanders dropped out i thought it was going to be bernie sanders supporters that are going to decide this election so i will say yeah that is bernie sanders supporters like I saw in the dream, the person sitting beside me will be the deciding factor of this election. So whatever he says, if he says Trump is not fit, that means the other guy, the, uh, Hillary Pot wins the day. If he says Trump is fit, like the other guy, then Trump wins the day. So, but you know, amazingly, Bernie Sanders went out her heart campaigning for Hillary. So like at the point I was looking at it, like look, it looks as if this is it. The person sitting next to me is supporting Hillary. So Hillary might win this election. A lot of uh, division came in from the Republican Party, and Trump wasn't looking good. But I, I keep telling people, I keep saying it, say that I don't know. Except if this dream is not from God, that if it is from God, I know I'm confused myself at that point. I say if it is from God, then no matter what happens. Trump will come out the winner. But if it is not from God, then Trump will lose. But one thing is sure, that Trump is backed up by a force or forces. If that force is not God, then that force must be the devil. But one thing is for sure, that that man has a stronger spiritual force behind him that he may not know of. But we keep watching. Just last week, you know, on Thursday, I was at work and uh, I was with driving. I was with my uh, clients sitting at the back. And all of a sudden, I was driving to drop off my clients. And all of a sudden, I, as if someone was speaking to me in my mind, like, you had this marvelous dream about Trump and about everything, revelation. And you saw it came to pass. You never said anything about it. You never put it on Facebook. You didn't write it down. You did nothing about it. You didn't record it. You know, this revelation that you got, this dream that you got. But I saw it, you saw, and you saw it came to pass. As this was playing in my head, I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's true. I didn't record this anywhere. I didn't say anything about this. And the voice was telling me, what else will I show you that you'll be bold enough to come out and say and that you, know, you heard this or you saw this or this is happening. So even if I show you a dream today that Trump won the election, will you be able to come out boldly and say that Trump is the winner of this election? I'm saying, my mind, what kind of a dream? I was like responding. I said, what kind of a dream are you going to show me? Probably a dream where Trump is holding a US flag written 45 on it 
I know he's the 45th US president. As I was pondering this in my head, my client at the back, this was last week Thursday, my client sitting at the back called me Cliff. He said, who won the election last night? I'm like shocked. I said, what election? He said, um, Trump and Hillary, who won the election last night? I said, well, how do you know that what I was just being told of who won the election? I told him Trump won, of course. Trump won the election. They were like, oh, no, Trump can't win this election. I said, well, you asked. I told you. I was shocked. And immediately I know it was a confirmation that, you know, what I was hearing wasn't just my mind playing tricks on me. It was God speaking to me. And I told him, look, Trump has won this election. I came out immediately. That day I text some of my friends. I told them Trump has won this election. They should just forget about it. He settled. It's Trump. And, you know, many of my friends, uh, brothers, uh, are, are Hillary supporters. And they were like, Gafabi, do you want to bet? I said, I'm not going to bet with you. Because betting with you is like, you know, unjustly taking your money. But I am sure <laughs> that it is settled. Trump has won the election. And, um, well, here we are. All that is history. Trump has won the election. So what I'm asking is, who won the election? Trump or God? The Bible says that if my people who are called by my name should humble themselves and pray that he will hear from my ball and he will hear their land. He, he will forgive their as, uh, sins and he will hear their, heal their land. God was looking for a man who will be bold enough to walk with him. A man who will stand against all odds to work with him as he's about to reform America. As he's about to bring back America to its glorious days. As about to change things in America for good. I mean, want to make America the center of God's presence again in this world. God searched and he found himself DJ Trump. It's not this election is not about Trump. Neither was it about Hillary. It was about good and evil. You may not see Trump in the light of good, but if you have a spiritual eyes, and if you look deep down, you look beyond, you see what Trump stands for. And you see what God stands for. You will know that God has prevailed over evil. And I want you to write this down. Whoever you are, wherever you are, listening to me. Write this down. That in history, Trump will either be the best or one of the best presidents that the United States has ever had. This will go down history. Write it down that Trump will be the best or one of the best presidents that the United States of America had ever had. The man is of God. And God has brought a man in this last day to walk with him. Even as he returned America back to God. God bless you. Put your trust in God. Celebrate what God has done. For God has eventually prevailed over evil in this land. And set a platform for righteousness that exalts a nation to thrive in the United States again. We give God all the glory. And I thank you for listening. And I pray that you turn your heart to God and walk with God. Even as it works, it will bring America back to its feet again. God bless you. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. You have seen the video yourself. And that was in 2016. 
And I just little, I'm not going to talk much on the video, but it spoke for itself. It was crystal clear. That was way back in 2016 when I did that video, the week Trump won the election. Now in the video, I said that it was a battle between God and Satan. And it was a battle between good and evil. And we thank God that God and good prevailed over Satan and evil. Like I said, why am I making this video? Is it really about Trump? So I asked in that video, is, was the election really about Trump? No, it's about God. It's about righteousness. Uh, just remember to hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be making a series of these videos so that you'll be the first to get the video as they come. All right. Um, like I said, God showed me something else. Probably in the next video, I'll be revealing what God showed me next. As he said, what else will I show you for you to know that Trump is the president of the United States? And why am I doing these videos? Hmm. I don't want to become disobedient to the heavenly calling. I, God asked me in 2016. I showed you such a great revelation about America and you did nothing about it and I'm choosing now not to do nothing about it but however before uh, I conclude I would also like you to watch this short clip from Kim Clements and then we come back and I will draw the highlights on that video please enjoy the video my fury has ended. Hear me! For I have found a man after my own heart. I have found a man after my own heart and he is amongst you. The highest court in the land, the Supreme Court, too shall step down for the embarrassment of what shall take place. For I wish to place in the highest court in the land righteousness. And they shall attempt to put others in to endeavor, to reach their endeavors. But God says, hear me tonight. Hear me today. I have this whole thing planned out according to my will. For it is now time for me to restore the fortunes of Zion. Okay, you have seen the video yourself. He said that two of, um, of the uh, judges of the highest court in the land will step down. That is justices. Two Supreme Court justices said they will step, step down. But, you know, God being so gracious, God added one. Trump changed three Supreme Court justices in his standing. Remarkable number. In three, four years, rather. And not only that, Trump appointed... 54 appellate court judges, that is a federal court of appeal. 54 of them in four years. For you to have a comparison and understand what that means or the significance of that, Obama in eight years was able to appoint 55, just one higher than Trump. The highest number ever appointed by any president was that of Bill Clinton. In, when he, in, in eight years, he appointed 66 appellate court judges, 66. Trump appointed 54 in four years. God said, I have this whole thing planned out. I have this whole thing planned out. It came at the right time. And you will understand that God has this whole thing planned out when you watched the second video. God brought him at the right time, strategically for a purpose, to restore righteousness in the land. And God said, why am I doing this? He said, for the embarrassing moment that shall take place. For the embarrassment that shall take place. He said, why? Because I wish to place righteousness in the highest court of the land. And we all saw it happen. That a fifty year, more than 50-year-old law, the Roe vs. Wade, that is the... the, 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 the the law on abortion that 
made abortion, the killing of innocent baby, the murder of innocent children in America legal at the federal level. Bloodshed, blood sacrifice that made it legal. And babies were being massacred in America, bloodsheds every, every day. Because of what God used Trump to do in his tenure, that law was overturned and abortion became illegal at the federal level. <laughs> That's just the beginning. That is just the beginning of things that are happening. And you know, why did God do that? Because he wanted to establish righteousness in the land. Right things, justice to be done. Well, you can see that God has this whole thing planned out. If you can see it now, wait for the part two of this video. You will understand it perfectly. That God has this whole thing planned out. Like I said, God said to me in 2016, what else will I show you for you to know that Trump is the President of the United States? God really showed me what else. Or maybe I'll be revealing that in the part two of this video. But please remember to hit the subscribe button so that you will be the first to get the video when it comes out. The Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen.